different steps how we are. Um, so just to show you how the first basic posture is, in uh, Orissi we have the Tribanga posture, which is very female, uh, or, uh, female oriented posture. Now, if you open up this, the body has remained in the same position. I just open up the uh, portion, the, the feet and the hands. And immediately you see how more male and virile portion for, um, position is coming out. And uh, these two hands, one is the shin and one is the sword. So now all the basic uh, uh, steps when we perform, we have this alternate movement which are attack and defense. So in the basic steps we are using this alternate movement of the hands. So that's why also there is no mudra, not much development of mudra, less facial expression. The expression is through the entire body. So each situation is for its character. It's more the entire body which is conveying the idea. So from the first, so this we call choka, which is the, the legs are very much uh, like the OBC one. The OBC it would be like this, but again here I am the attack and defense position of the head. And this is harana, which is, as I said, an extended form of tribanga. Now from here, the basic steps goes. Now I'm attacking. So you you see how. The movement is very much in the air. If I would have done the Odyssey, would have been. So is uh, this complementarity? Uh, one is more feminine, and the other is more vigorous. Now.